if you uh, examine all four, um, he comes closest to being, uh, you know, best chance to have an independent president. Okay. But one of the things that you said was that Mr. Tanji say uh, is independent. However, he did work for Mr. Gochok Tong for so many years in the civil and service. He- Right, yeah, but not in and you don't politician. think that that somehow that actually helps him because he has to work with the government of the day, so his uh, civil service, uh, you know, stint is going to help him to be uh, able to understand the workings of government. But it's above politics. Um, as I mentioned in my speech, um, I really think that the president needs to be a figure that unites Singaporeans. He needs to be a unifying figure, and in order to do that, uh, he needs to be someone who not only understands the viewpoints held by the establishment, but those held by um, you know other more divergent sectors of society. And I think that Mr. Tanji Se, having come from the establishment himself, and now you know he's coming up uh, as an ex-opposition candidate, he understands both uh, sides. Of the coin, and I think that makes him best placed to really serve the needs of the president as one who will unite all Singaporeans. Um, what do you say to criticism that some of the promises he made are extremely, well, very hard to deliver if he actually does become president? Um, I don't think it's in our position to talk about him having very lofty ideals or aspirations, because you know, as he mentioned, it's really not about, uh, you know. Honestly, in his role as a president, he might be limited. But as a Singaporean, it is how much he wants to push the envelope. And I believe that if he has a determination and if he has set aside these goals for himself, he will push himself through to you know the best he can. Yeah. The main point is that he can be a unifying figure because we understand the diverse needs. Yes. But uh, some people are saying he can actually be a divisive, uh, divisive uh, figure. So what is what is your comment about that? Um, well, if you want to, I'm not sure where you got your, where the where your source came from. But in, if that's the case, then anyone who stands up as a presidential candidate can potentially be a divisive figure, regardless of whether you know it's Tanji Se or whether it's the other three candidates. Yeah. Jenna, what do you have to say about that? Um, yeah, I agree with Nicole that uh, you know he can be a bridge between the various groups of people, and that um, I, I do have faith that he will be a, a unifying figure. Yeah. Do any of you have anything to say about the whole Aljunet Workers' Party issue? I think uh, if that was really the case, then it's highly unfair and extremely petty of the incumbent. But I mean, let's not jump the gun here. I think uh, there needs to be deeper investigation into what exactly um, what exactly happened in the process. You know, there could be other sides to the coin that we don't know about. So I think it should be investigated further. Yeah. Let's say. Uh, do you think that it's a role of president to step in in, in such an, an, an issue uh, and maybe, you know, to mediate? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that it's fair to comment on this. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because, oh no, this is not a, is that a legal question. <laughs> it's not a legal question. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, no. Is Right. I, think, uh, I think you know that uh, what the, ca- the president can or cannot do, uh, there's a bit of conflicting views among legal experts. Uh, Shamungan has got some views and then Tolian got another view and then I think even Kelvin Tan has got. So I think right now there's a bit of a, a, a not very clear right now. So, um, you know, we will just have to wait to see how, uh, you know, the, the legal argue- debate, uh, you know, pans out.